Warning, this video contains two Roblox horror gameplays. The second game has more disturbing content that displays mental health and sensitive related themes and imagery. I recommend not watching this video or passing this point. If you think you can handle what's coming up in the video, then proceed. Because after this warning, the 50 second preview will definitely make you click off this video. I'm purposely making this very long because I'm just trying to spare you. Be careful of what you're watching. I really have no words. Enter the bathroom. Ah, how are you guys doing? Welcome to the channel, and today we are playing Toshiko, Tokyo Undyne. So the main plot is that um, there is a new type of virus discovered in Tokyo, and um, turns out everyone's going in quarantine mode. That's all I know, so why not just get straight into the game? So there's multiplayer. Um, I feel like not doing multiplayer at the moment, so... Let's go. Oh, by the way, this game is currently in demo. So far, only the uh, two out of six parts are completed. So we only get to experience that. It's probably more like a story mode. So new game. Raven Interactive. Hopefully it's not copyrighted, right? Right? Raven Interactive presents Toshiko Tokyo Undyne. In recent news, Harim Hama. A local village outside of Tokyo has recently been- The Prime Minister has urged all residents to stay indoors during the pen epidemic. The virus has shown to have a fatality of 72%, and those who survive have suffered from severe long-lasting physiological events. The NIID has declared this virus unsafe and a potential threat to life in Tokyo as we know it. My father lives- Okay, that's me. My father lives nearby. A oh, fudge! Bro, why are you going so fast? Also, what the heck? This is so graphic. I'm just wondering, how would all the water drops be landing on my eyes while it's like dripping down? Like, they, they disappear like every, every second. So far, this game is pretty, uh, more high quality. Top notch quality, I mean. So, we can interact with Sven's. The Sven's won't budge, it's locked. Yeah, locked fence. Fence locked because there's a key. there's a lock right there on there. How's the lock place? I don't even know. Also, I don't even see the handle. How do you open it? All right, this fence won't budge. Of course, it's locked. Push. Whoa. Hello, computer. What are you doing? I guess it's more of a psychological experience. Take the ladder. I'm gonna place it upwards over there. Um, key. What? What? There's a key out there. I never saw that. Press tab to open inventory. Of course, inventory systems. Alright, you can hold shift to sprint, so we're obviously gonna be running from zombies. Like, is there zombies evolved? Okay. Unlocked. Boom. Gonna close that. Always close everything in horror games, of course. Switch. Alrighty oh. Um, cutscene. Yes, obviously a, a good choice. Good choice for horror game cutscenes. I can walk through this garbage. Thing. Can I pick up this flashlight? Like, that'd be excellent if I picked up this flashlight. I can now open this. No longer locked, although it still says locked. This could be a beautiful view. Um... Yeah, a very beautiful view of Tokyo. Well, not the city itself, but we're in a suburban town, so there's many different pathways we can go to. Let's check out this area. The soundtrack is pretty cool. Oh, door. Obviously, no one would open... Oh. Would they open or no? Well, I guess they wouldn't um, bother to open because, you know, they heard the news. Why is the music getting more intense? Whoa! Um, call for taxi. Yep, taxi. Calling for taxi. Um, be at this location, please. That's my taxi arriving. Wait, where was I? What did I end? Did I even enter the taxi? Is the light? Is the power going out? It's a city going out. Toshiko, Tokyo, Undyne. The word Undyne represents zombies. Yeah, you can see the virus has also damaged some power. Even nature hates it. Do people wake up in heartbeats? I'm breathing like crazy. All right, well, so we had an accident. Push tree, keep pushing. How am I? How am I making two breaking sounds? Alright, am I out? I'm finally out. Alright, finally. So, uh, my... Did my taxi crash? Seems like it. What happened to my taxi? I don't know. How did we crash? Oh yeah, thunder. 
That that's great. Perfect for the environment. Finally, we can get we can have a flashlight. Should pick up the other one. That other one was way stronger. Let's go. I'm a bit less tired now. I should be able to run. But aren't you injured? Like what happened to you? All right, this gives me uh Resident Evil Louisiana vibes. There's a uh, car key inside the car. Oh, it's a gate key on the car. Love the environment. Parahama. Okay, am I am I at that place? Immersive, yeah, I know. Read note, which is literally Japanese in sideways. Oh wow, the characters are way different. Mr. Aresu, I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but I must resign from my position. I cannot keep working under these current conditions. I regretfully must take leave from our partnership. I understand this will put you in a tough position. My family has fallen sick. I'm sure you have heard a word about the virus making its way through our town. Well, I can assure you, the rumor was true. We are no longer safe here in Harihama. The locals have gone mad. With the main roads shut down, we've not received any shipments in weeks. And supplies have been dwindling. Dwindling. Is that how you pronounce it? There's been a lot of violence during the night hours. I'm sure you understand, as it is a father's job to protect his family. I must ask you to do the same, Arisu. Forget about the farm. Get out of here and keep your loved ones safe. This virus is no joke. P.S. Sonoda Takumi's residents have been giving off a foul stench. I haven't seen him leave his home in a week. Maybe you can check on him. Well, I guess I can read sideways Japanese. This fence is locked. No longer locked. That's a golden crowbar. That's superior. A crowbar's a bat. Wow, that, that's superior. Restore power to the generator. All right, we need to power this gate up. So we're gonna explore around, see what hell broke loose. Power, insert fuse. We need a fuse. We can run. What would that sound be? Also, how am I freaking exhausted? I just, I just had a little run. I would, come on. We're inside, free note. Another note to read. These nights ago, I heard the local villagers attacking my animals. I don't know what to do anymore. I've tried calling the police department from Nishi Napori, but they've yet to send anyone. These people have turned into savages, from attacking one another to raiding any food stash around. They've lost all sense of humanity. I've been living here in these parts for decades, and I've never seen an epidemic hit quite like this one. The virus seemed to be spreading rampant, with a fatality rate of 51% thus far. Local news stations have caught wind and broadcasted. Hopefully, it falls on the right ears and a vaccine is developed. I've seen them burning bodies. Oh my goodness. Something tells me we've gone off the deep end. I don't know who will find this note, but if you happen to be looking for me, I've already left. I'm returning home to Kyoto to reside with my son, Aresu. All right, that's the man, TV. Turn off. There's... My gosh. That climbing scared me. I guess Roblox physics still works here. Wait. This is Roblox. Um... um okay, that monster just disappeared. Finally, got a fuse. The TV turn off. Wait, no, that's the radio. I might regret my decision of turning off the radio, but, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna regret it. I jump scare's just gonna happen. Okay, never mind. No nothing would happen. Woo! That's a chainsaw. Um, can I get in the closet? Hello? Well, people have gone insane. They tried to freaking chainsaw the door open, even though it's unlocked. What happened? How did they not open? Is that? Oh, okay. It's a floating plate. What? What? Why? What's the point? What is going on at this place? Did that radio just turn on? Paranormal activities. I can't run. Wow. Okay. Well, having a heart attack. Start generator. Okay. We we opened that. What even happened? How am I not seeing anyone? It's still locked. Crash scene. It says true. Oh yes. Oh yes. Gotta love it. What the frick? I have a ring that follows along. What What's happening? Why would there be a ring? Hey, um. What? I thought there's someone in there. I think the virus has got me and started to hallucinate me. I think this is all a hallucination. Town, pretty dangerous place to be in, but why the frick not? I'm still trying to get to my father. All right, two decisions, um, boat or, yeah, boat. 
Unavailable, bruh. All right, we only have one decision, and that decision is going to death. Got these locked doors. Um, unavailable in demo. Thank you for telling me that I need to play with full access to unlock these doors. We got a floating lamppost. Open door, open door. Unavailable. What? What? You're telling me everything is unavailable? Okay, so the other game had a disruptive end, so now I'm playing this game, which is called All Over Me, which is a surreal collection of horror scraps, and um, it's developed by Cheese Blocks, the group, the group that made a Roblox port version of My Eyes Deceive, which is currently down, sadly. Not the reason you think of, but this game is published by Cheese Blocks, and yeah, obviously it's gonna be freaking disturbing as fuck. This game doesn't follow a story except game flaws. This is a list of five short projects that I used to work on with my friends. So not only we're playing two games, we are playing six games in one video, but abandoned due to burnouts and mental health issues. Think this game as in concept art, not entirely as an interesting game. Warning, the game depicts depression, anxiety, and other painful sensitive themes and imagery. You have been warned. The world has vanished into nothing but whiteness. Lifeless, it seemed. No towns or creatures were on sight, only dead trees. What feels alive, however, is the battle between my car and the storm. I can hear the solidity of flakes rapidly launching at my car's body. In a few matter of seconds to spare my car's wipers, snow has entirely covered my windows again. Maybe it's time to accept defeat. We're fighting snow, yay. Maybe it's time to accept defeat. My teeth rapidly chatters as I get chills all over. My hands on the wheels are already numb and dull of pain. My lungs are giving up as I feel sharp pains from each cold breath, but my body has bitten enough wind and just wants to give up, so I let loose my weak grip on the wheel. So I let loose my weak grip on the wheel. Right away, my car starts losing friction with the icy road already. Already aware that I might not have a chance to survive this. As the car sends itself into a downward spiral, I cherish my final hours as I hug myself and close my eyes. The car flips and throws itself into a somewhat large pit. That's bad. Life has to end like this, or does it? As I whined about my pain and the injuries of pieces sticking on me, oh my goodness, there are sudden sounds. Sudden sounds that are natural, unlike the breezing wind. Indeed, unlike the breezing wind, those were footsteps, for God's sake. As my vision started to blur out, they started to drag me out of the crash scene. I want to ask them something, but I can't blurt out any word with such weakness, so I take it for granted, but I still want to ask myself, is death real? Yeah, you, 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 you get the point, you get the warning. Why are you still watching this video? And it fades to black, with its death real still appearing until it's not. Yep. Yep. I got that right. I feel cold. But I'm familiarized with this freezing floor already. I don't know how long I was knocked out. But I'm darn sure that I'm still alive. I still doubt that they are actual good people. Who even lives in the middle of a snowfield. A snowfield filled with furious snowstorms. To find a random person who is supposed to be buried in the snow. I decided to stand up and check my surroundings. Oh, question mark. I have a question about this door. Why can I not interact it? Okay, I, these are the pills from, you know, what game? What is this? Intercom? I have a question. Oh, I can press E. The speaker is looping a voice clip. I took a closer listen. Welcome and good morning, demanded subhuman being. Hmm, not liking your room already? Well, that doesn't matter. Because you are invited here today to experience, I didn't set anything, the recollection phenomena. We're about to experience those lost projects. As the name suggests, you will get to have perfectly happy nostalgia about everyone, everything and everywhere, including yourself. Hey, you hardly even deserve to use these medicines, so use it at your own best. Each day, each medicine will bring you to a different experience. A different experience that will disclose you different things. Once in a lifetime. So please, cherish every moment. That's all for now. Happy dreaming. And of course, don't- oh, okay. Okay, let me interact that door again. The door is jammed shut. Are they kidnapping me or something? So they are not really nice after all. 
a candy-like machine box, or what they call the Recollection Phenomena. Should I take one? Uh, well, we don't have a choice. Might as well accept the, uh, the suffering experience. Oh, Frick said, A kid's complex wasn't that complex because it was my childhood. I used to live in a worn down apartment with my family, and that family was sorely my mother. Every day was bland, and I could do nothing but eat, learn, and sleep. But every day was not every day. It was that final session that there was great fondness. Get set. The beauty of nature is close. Each cold is seasoning with great tranquility. Each bird sits rotting in the snow, each snow angels devoting little relish, each snowman removing bits of outcasts, and yet the winter just comes and goes. Winter is a melancholic being. It sleeps through its sorrow as early as possible. It storms the sheds of miserable tears of nature. It suffers the worst demise as the sun melts it entirely. It needs help and yet pushes everything to their shelters. It feels solitude, but it chooses to wallow in there. Sometimes winter needs a warm hug. All right, yay. Where are we located? In a city. Hot. Nothing can cure my broken heart like my own mother's cooking. For me, it's especially homemade beef stew. Usually when she came back home with groceries for us, I always snuck up and peeled into some of the bags while she was away. Once I smelled a presence of beef, I would excitedly jump around and knew I'm going to have a beef stew for dinner. My mother would stand by a door frame, witnessing immature naviness. She would let out a remarkable warm smile afterwards. Alright, we love Beast Shoe, and that's what we know about our character, so... Okay, let me get back. What's this? An old newspaper from the 90s. My mother always reads one every morning, enjoying her new sweet tea. This one appears to mention something about a young girl who escaped from a basement after being imprisoned for 10 years by her father. What the fuck? What a cruel world, am I wrong? Why do we have to- I literally mentioned that game- Outside? I remember every time how I got excited when winter arrives. I'm sorry if this video is more of a reading session. When I finally saw the freckles of snow on the kitchen window again, I started to jump on my bed like a trampoline and wishing and praying that winter will stay snowing forever. That wouldn't be a good thing, but it was not possible. Silly childhood soon has to learn the hard way of life in nature. Well, let me tell you, here in Australia, barely anything snows. A lovely fern pot that lasted in our complex for a few years. There was this time my mother was keen on growing plants, so she decided to bring one indoors. She said it made it our place feel more alive, especially during seasons like winter but it didn't really conquer. Winter was already alive by its own. Well, not where I am. Um, what's over here? Ooh, a bedroom with no windows. The bathroom doors, oh, the bathroom doors locked. What's over here? Oh, is that me? Let me go over here. Oh, it's just staircase. The door knob is jammed for some reason. How can people get in their rooms then? So these are lockers, a door that leads to Somewhere outside, I'm guessing. An order's complex feels different because the mind itself is a complex now. I continued to survive in that worn down apartment with my lone family. Every day was bland and I could do nothing but eat and sleep. But every day was not every day. It was that final season that there was great contemplation. Tell me, Winter, what are you really hiding away? Below those snow, is it really just snow? Or is there some kind of sick play? Oh, Winter. Tell me, we are the same winter. We bury our sorrows with thick tears. We struggle with the definition of truth. We, with our own sun, slowly burning us out. We reject anything but our own self-rejection. I have become my own winter. Wow. Oh, first person, let's go. So we've been asking Winter what has been happening and what we have done in our lives that we truly did to successfully achieve our goals. Cause you know, we found out ourselves. Are we in a, are we in a mental asylum? Okay, I cannot read that. Doors, most doors are not interactive. Okay, I'm going to that most obvious way to go door just to see if I can um, do something about it. Yep, I can do something about it. Okay, uh, now I have to go to this most obvious way to go book, which is a long obvious way to go travel. Okay, turns out it's not the most obvious way to go book but it is the most obvious way to black out thing i am now about to make the great adventure i cannot endure this agonizing pain any longer it is all over my body neither can i face the impending blindness i pray the lord my soul to take 
Amen. Conclusion for the death of Katerina. Cerebral hypoxia due to traumatic injuries from an attempt at, you know what, I miss you mother. So there's a reason why that door was locked. And I'm saying, um, I'm not gonna explain any further. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is loud. Recollection phenomena. That is one horror project done. What's happening? Oh. Oh, are you kidding me? The first three words, mental crisis hotline. Hi, may I ask if this is a mental crisis hotline? Tap to unlock. Oh, goodness. Sorry, you got the wrong number. Oh. Ah, okay. I see. I guess this is a sign that I should not text at first. My bad. I will stop bothering you now. Okay, so I have three options. You're not doing anything to yourself, right? Get you to the right hotline. No, I don't need one anymore. It has already become a joke, like I said before. See you now. Wait, no, 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 no. Promise that you'll get help. Come on. I don't need that anymore. Come on, you need it. Okay, if I say that, then uh, he's gonna think of some other things, which I uh, already know that I should not mention on YouTube. I'm gonna say this. It's probably my best response. I'll right, listen if you want to talk. It's gonna be some random topic if I say anything, but if I say, how's your family? So I guess he must have some past experience. So the most obvious question is, what's, what is troubling you? So, troubling? Like something is bothering me? Um, not really. Nothing is bothering me at this point. I think you're wasting my time. I should get going now. Please don't. Hold on. I'm lost for words right now. Like, I cannot even bother to say any What? Man, you are sure. Persistent. Like, you are like, so, so, so funny. I'm, I'm not. I'm actually being serious. This is so lol. But what does lol mean again? I forgot. I'm definitely not lying on the floor right. Hey, what's up now? Uh, eh? Kinda okay, I guess. I might be dizzy right now. Like, oh. Like a bird to go. That's mu that's a much fancier word. Ha ha ha. I don't know what that means, actually. I should ask where are you now so I can call emergency on this place. Nowhere? What? Hey, you're not trying to find out where I am, right? So that you can send help? You, you, you read my mind. Brilliant idea! But I might forgot my own night, bruh. Um, I'm hitting my head right now. Can't remember. Maybe A, B, C, D, E. Does that sound good? C is my fave letter. It seems lonely though. Well, all letters have to get lonely once in their lifetime, right? Do you talk to your neighbors? What are your favorite local restaurants? What does it look like outside your windows? Let's say, do you talk to your neighbors? Oh, come on, text back something. Sorry, I was knocked out for a moment. Say it again. Oh wait, I can just stroll out. Oh. Silly me! No. Too much message. Too much why I can't read. Maybe I should change my phone screen to, um... Maybe a last parting message, lol. Oh, come on. Where is your home? A sweet... That... That... Not... I'm not talking about how sweet your home is, like you have candy canes or something. And now worn, but still dear in my heart. Mama always cooks something warm and nice. Warm smell. Warm taste. Warm everything. There's no better happy- There's no better happy place on Earth than your own. She's not messaging. Well, as I say, like amusement park. A local amusing park with many rides. A, with roller coaster, Ferris wheel. I don't know. I just hear from people a few ages ago. Fudge. I, I can't- I, For frick's sake, stop texting! Even after death. Oh my gosh. Because my love is in home forever. Can you tell me your address? Let me just be for real. Well... Time to make this more immersive. I'm going to call if you don't text. Hey, don't do this to me. I'm gonna call the person. Why am I playing these disturbing games? Why? Hello, can you hear me? I know you picked up the call, please answer. So much for America blasting my ears. Jesus! What you're about to see is based on a real footage of a suspect's point of view. View discretion is advised. Uh, yet again, another disturbing part! Recovered archive footage. Scene 1. Motel scene. Reenact. 
Bottom and I can't read. Okay, wow. Wow, the frames. Alright, what's this? This is a police report. So far, the people who develop these kinds of games know how much disturbance they can put into literally in a single development. Well, that's very funny. That's very funny, yeah. Why not just hang up right now? Wow, okay. What was that? No need to go in there right now. Why is that? I'm a suspect, so there must be something. So I'm knock the door. I hate the fact that I cannot look over there. That's pretty smart. Oh. Someone shut their car. You gotta love psychological events. Like knocking and car going crazy in a TV and phone calls. I just set TV. Pretty loud. Really, really loud. Thank you for killing my ears. Breaking news. Desperate search underway for missing girl kidnapped. Three days ago, a community is on edge as the search intensifies for a young girl who was kidnapped three days ago and remains missing. Law enforcement agencies and concerned citizens have rallied together in a desperate effort to locate the girl and bring her home safely. The girl, identified as Katie, 15, was last seen three days ago when she was reportedly abducted from Houston. The circumstances surrounding her disappearance have sent shockwaves through the community, leaving friends, family, and neighbors anxiously awaiting any updates on her whereabouts. Authorities have launched a full-scale investigation, establishing Bruh. a search effort. Search and rescue team, including K-9 units, Why? helicopters, Why? and nearby enemies that may provide crucial I really have no words. No one needs to go in there right now. Can I just answer the door? I can do that too. Now there's cops at my- Okay. Enter the bathroom. Ah. Understandable. Scene 1 footage completed. Yeah. Why? I love sounds. Sounds are beautiful. They sound really, really nice and great. And overall, I don't want you here. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, talk about sounds. They're really, really bad. I, just, I don't want to hear anything. I really don't. Oh, what is that? What is that? What does it say? What even happened? What is happening? Really, really hate sounds. Yeah, yeah, thank you for- Whoa, seizures. Seizure warning. You should have looked away, you should have signed our warning. I already know I edited it in. I- I can't- I can't read that. I can't read that fast. So far this experience has made me, uh, speak louder because the game is more loud. Cages? Oh, goodness. Can this game end? Oh. Oh. Oh, gonna- What? You're gonna what? They're all looking at me. This is great. This, this is really great. Yeah, a loud experience. Now I can dial down. Finally, disturbing tribute. Finally, things have been relaxed. Video has been going for an hour. Exit. I will go to the exit and we'll go past through the. Uh, okay, guys, uh, I guess I'm going to retire from YouTube. So um, this will be my last video. Like, really, really, I don't need any sympathy, though. I can't do anything with the full dish in front of me. Keep waiting for ages. So lonely. I think I'm in love. Do you know what love means? It's all over you. So far away. It's all over you. It came somewhere across the ocean. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. Gone away so fast. The wind blows hard on my body. Do you know that we are all under the sky? Through, we struggle around. There are too many red shoes and lambs.
It's all over you. Is, is this a translation of the song? So far away. It's all over you. It's just a it's just a song. It came somewhere across the ocean. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Cheese Blocks, for for everything. I, I I'm lost for words right now. Directed by JPEG and Wee Bunny. Not sure if I said it right. Oh my goodness. What is this experience? What is this video? I'm saying actually. Why I decided to play this game, actually. Farewell. I miss you. Well. So, um, yeah. Six games in one video. How excellent is that? Yeah, it's only just two games. But anyways, that's all I have for today's video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you sure did enjoy, leave a like, cause um, you know, I I want responses. Comment down below your thoughts about these two experiences. Yeah, I well, obviously, the other five games, you know, sometimes people can take it too far, although it can be um, not appropriate for Roblox, but um, yeah, there's reasons why I'm not mentioning anything um, more um, S-word related. The most disturbing S-word, of course. Okay, enough of that. If you want more videos from my channel, then I recommend subscribing to my channel, just so you don't miss any of them. Oh, then you can unsubscribe if you want, if I'm more born to use. I don't mind. And as always, until next time, everyone.